In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can make your internet faster and lower your ping and also fix your packet loss inside of any game. First thing we want to do is create a restore point in case something goes wrong and you guys want to restore it. So first head over to search and search restore point. Click on create a restore point and over here you want to click on Windows C, click configure and then turn on system protection, then set the max usage to 5%. Then click apply and click OK. Now you want to click on create and name it, I'll just name it restore point. Now let's move on to the second method. For the second method, we're going to be clearing our DNS and modifying some DNS settings. To do that, search out for control panel, then locate network and sharing center, click on change adapter settings, and over here you're going to want to right click and click on properties on the active Wi-Fi network. Down here, you're going to want to click on the Internet Protocol version 4, then click on Properties, click Use the following DNS server addresses, and you want to type in the numbers on the screen right now. So for our preferred DNS server, we're going to be typing in 1.1.1.1. And for our alternate DNS server, we're going to be typing in 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Now click on OK and click close. Now you want to come over to search again, type CMD for command prompt, then click on run as administrator, and over here type in ipconfig space slash flush DNS. And as you can see, successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. For the next one, you want to open up Windows settings, then click on update and security, click on delivery optimization, and then you want to uncheck the allow downloads from other people. PCs. So click on this button to turn it off, now click on advanced options, and you want to set all of these to 5%. Just like that, every slider has been moved to its minimum, which is 5%. While we are in Windows settings, let's go on privacy, then scroll down until you find background apps, and over here you want to turn this off. What this will do is disable every app that's running in the background. So just turn this off and let's move on to the next one. For this next one, you're gonna open up control panel again and then click on network and sharing center. Then click on change adapter settings again. Right click on your active network service and then click on properties. And over here, you wanna click on configure. Now click on power management and you wanna uncheck allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. For this next step, you wanna click Windows and R to open up the run menu. Then you wanna type in G gpedit.msc. After you've typed that in, click on OK, and over here you want to click on the Administrative Templates folder under Computer Configuration. So click on it, and click on Network folder by double-clicking it, and then double-click on QoS Packet Scheduler. Here you want to click on the Limit Reservable Bandwidth folder, and here you want to disable this, click apply and then OK. So this next step is only for Chrome users, but you want to open up Chrome, click on the three dots on the top right corner, then click on settings, system, and over here you want to uncheck continue running background apps when Chrome is closed. And also uncheck this, as this will also help reduce lag. After you've unchecked these, you just want to restart Chrome to let all of the settings apply. And that was it for this tutorial, and if you want to learn how to free up over 100 gigabytes of storage on your C drive, make sure to check out the video on the screen right now, and I'll see you guys in another video. Subscribe and goodbye.